Hi everyone, it's Lulu and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys Broke Girl Curling Hacks for 4C Natural Hair. This is totally heatless and I am not using traditional hair products. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm using African Black Soap instead of traditional shampoo to wash my hair. I found that African Black Soap actually makes my hair really soft. So I'm just putting a little bit in there with the water. I have about 3 ounces of warm water in there and just a few pieces of black soap. And I'm going to go ahead and close it, the squeeze bottle, and shake it around until the black soap dissolves. So that only took like three or five minutes. I can't remember. It didn't take long at all. But this is my hair. It is day five hair. And I did not upload the video on what I did to my hair before this. It is coming, I promise. But this is like five days after the fact. And I'm just rinsing it out and doing the unthinkable by washing my hair in the shower. But here is my black soap. I found that it really cleanses my hair. I've done a video on black soap before. It was already in liquid form, but this is like me making my own because somebody actually said just, you know, dissolve your own black soap instead of buying it in liquid form. So this works really well for me. And I'm using my Vanity Planet Groove Scalp Massaging Shampoo Brush. And it is so amazing, you guys. I will have all the information about it in a future video but I do have a coupon for it I'll have all the details down below and it does a really good job of cleansing my scalp so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse out my shampoo my hair feels really soft that's one thing I love about black soap and the next thing I'm gonna do is use something from the kitchen which is olive oil I think it's olive oil and sunflower oil in one and I forgot how good olive oil was for my hair it's not just great for frying stuff in the kitchen so I am going to go ahead and put some on my scalp and massage my scalp and just detangle my hair. I will have a full detangling video linked above and below in the description box so you can see the entire process of how I do this with either a serum or a leave-in conditioner, the full process. But what I'm doing now is just Bantu knotting my hair because with Bantu knots I just kind of section my hair off and also get it to be nice and stretched before curling and this is all the shedding that I had you guys olive oil is really great it's like so underrated but I'm using grocery bags to curl my hair so here is how I fold the grocery bags I basically fold in three then fold the edges in and then just roll the bag basically that's all I do I just want to create a roller that's about the size of a perm rod and I'm using some tape to secure it. So this is the final look of the roller. And here I have a dish. I'm going to use lotion on my hair. And lotion is really great for a conditioner or a leave-in conditioner or a styling cream. And I'm also using some oil, mixing the two together. So that way I can create a nice little concoction for my hair. So now I am just getting sections of hair pretty sizable sections applying the lotion oil mixture and wrapping my hair around the roller and I just took my time doing this trying to make sure I smoothed my hair properly so that way it could be nice and smooth when I removed it because I'm starting on hair that's kind of damp and I actually found like half of my bobby pins that I lost you guys I have three different variations of bobby pins in that dish I was so amazed but yeah you get to see them all and all I did after wrapping my hair around was just secure with a bobby pin and now I'm gonna do my last section of hair working the product through and of course grabbing my roller and just wrapping it around and once I'm done wrapping it around what I like to do with the bobby pin is actually secure it in a way that all the hair is pinned in it and then it's just pinned at the base so where I started wrapping, that's where I pinned the bobby pin so that way the roller doesn't go anywhere and my hair stays put. So here is my wig cap liner that I am using to secure all of my rollers before I put my sleep scarf on because it just keeps everything in place and it's ventilated so if anything just falls off, it's okay. The next morning, it took about 12 hours drying time, I think, I can't remember. But I'm taking the rollers out with the bobby pins first. I used a total of 38. And this is what my curls are looking like. And I think I did a pretty good job. I wish I did smaller sections, but this is fine for now. And of course, if I use the styling cream, 
my curls would have been beyond excellent but for using products that are around anyway like lotion olive oil or some kind of cooking oil black soap or some kind of gentle body wash because I use black soap as my body wash these curls actually turned out nicely I don't want to just separate too much because I don't have that much product in my hair so they will become frizzy if I do too much that's one thing I noticed with my hair and I'm just gonna put my hair up in a puff and that is all as far as styling my natural hair and yeah so if you run out of products definitely try using some of these you guys let me know what type of products do you like to use when you run out or when you just can't afford certain products down in the comments below and thank you so much for watching as always you guys I will talk to you in the next video bye